Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Oceanus. Have you ever wondered how these massive container ships manage to stay afloat even in extreme weather conditions? How do these vessels survive even the mightiest waves? Today, we will discover how advanced maritime equipment and strategic design avoid cargo ships from capsizing. A ship navigating through rough seas and turbulent waters encounters waves that crash over the deck, adding to the water on board. This is where the bilge system comes into play. The bilge system consists of a network of pumps, pipes, and valves strategically placed throughout the ship's lower compartments. These components work together to manage water that might seep in due to leaks, rough seas, or other factors. The primary objective is to keep the water level inside the ship at a safe and manageable level. Additionally, modern bilge systems are often equipped with sensors that monitor water levels and pump functionality. When a ship is constructed, it is divided into numerous watertight compartments, essentially creating a series of internal barriers. These compartments are designed to be airtight and water resistant, which means that if a breach occurs in one section of the ship's hull, the water is contained within that specific compartment. This design prevents the water from flowing freely throughout the ship, maintaining stability and buoyancy. If a breach occurs in one of the compartments, water enters that section, but the surrounding watertight compartments remain unaffected. Even if one section of the ship is compromised, the rest of the ship remains intact and afloat. This buys valuable time for the crew to respond take corrective actions, and prevent the situation from escalating into a catastrophic event. It's worth noting that this design principle was famously put to the test in the case of the RMS Titanic. Despite striking an iceberg and suffering significant damage, the Titanic's watertight compartments allowed it to stay afloat for a longer period providing enough time for some passengers and crew members to evacuate. Ballast tasks are used in container ships to maintain a balance and utilize proper weight distribution. The ballast system is what gives ships their stability, and this becomes especially crucial in bad weather. By adjusting the amount of water inside its ballast tanks, a ship's crew can manipulate its weight distribution, counteracting the tilting force of waves and winds. This is why ships often appear to glide smoothly through even the roughest of waters. Bad weather often brings about that unnerving rolling motion you might have experienced on board. By transferring water between the ballast tanks on either side of the ship, crew members can counteract excessive rolling, minimizing the discomfort felt by passengers and reducing the risk of capsizing. Pitching, or the up and down movement of a ship's bow and stern, is also controlled by these tanks in bad weather. 
In the most extreme cases, like encountering unexpected heavy storms, the ballast system plays a role in ensuring emergency stability. The crew can use the ballast tanks to create additional weight at strategic locations, making the ship more resilient to rolling and pitching forces. These systems help ships stay afloat, but sometimes cause internal issues, which damage the vessel from inside. Fire outbreaks harm the internal components of ships and put lives in danger. It becomes even more catastrophic when a tanker ship is carrying a cargo of highly flammable substances, such as oil or chemicals. In the normal course of things, these substances could be vulnerable to igniting if exposed to an open flame or spark due to the movements of ships in extreme weather. But this is where inert gas systems come into play. These systems introduce inert gases, such as nitrogen, into the cargo tanks. Inert gases are chemically inactive that don't readily react with other substances. By displacing the oxygen present in the cargo tanks, inert gases create an environment where combustion simply cannot occur. This significantly reduces the risk of fire or explosion even in the presence of flammable materials. But sometimes things get unlucky. Ships can and do experience extreme weather conditions. Sadly, not all ships survive. In these situations, saving the lives on board is the utmost priority, providing a means of escape when all other options have been exhausted. Lifeboats are meticulously engineered to withstand the harsh conditions of the open sea and remain upright even if overturned by waves to keep occupants safe until rescue arrives. They are strategically positioned on the ship's deck and are built to be both staple and self-righting. Life rafts, on the other hand, are inflatable rafts that can be deployed manually or automatically. Life rafts are equipped with survival supplies, such as food, water, first aid kits, signaling devices, and often a canopy to provide protection from the elements. This ensures that occupants have the essentials they need to stay afloat and await rescue. Another crucial aspect is communication and location. People can be stranded thousands of miles in the deep sea. This is why lifeboats and life rafts are equipped with signaling devices like flares, radios, and beacons that can help rescuers locate them more easily. GPS tracking has greatly improved the ability over the years to pinpoint their exact location, aiding in faster rescue operations. That's it from this video. Our team put their souls into creating these videos. Your like and subscribe help us to create more quality content for you. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.